Welcome, today we're going to show you how to build furniture for Falcons. We're not going to build this type, we're going to build that type. Okay, we're going to start with a beautiful piece of cowhide. You can't even see the grains are so tight. We're going to make new jessies, 0.4 inches in width. It's important to make three marks so you don't get the bowing of the leather to have a thin spot in it. Rotary cutters, also important for the same reason. Now this measurement is also 4 tenths of an inch. I'm going to fold it twice and only have three layers on this button. You'll see at the end that it's more than sufficient to make it 100% so it won't slip through the eyelet. Now when I cut this hole, I biased that cut, or that hole rather, towards the end so the distance between the left, right, and the end point are all exactly the same. And yes, my cutters are old and tired. I had to rotate it. This end is what's going to go through the holes I just made and also into the swivel. And this is a piece of calf, which is also called kip. It's a cowhide. It's a lot thinner than what we made the Jessies out of. The width on this is half an inch. Then I'm just marking the center from both sides in case you have a variance. Now we've been making bracelets for five decades now, so we just have our standards. This is a number one. Fits uh, Tearsel and Nottoms, Tearsel Harris is our most common one. So we have the length defined, and now this is what's really critical. I got the length, then I got the top and bottom aligned so you don't see a, uh, a variance there, I guess is what I'm looking for. Now this is the part that most people think is just really a, atypical but I found it's a really easy, quick way to make the end of the bracelets radius and very consistent. Now I'm clamping down just the slightest bit with those uh, vice grip crimper doodads. And, ready for it, ta-da, dang near perfect. Little bit of sanding so you don't have those little rough edges coming out and look at that okay this is jesse grease it's been in the microwave and it's completely translucent now you can see after being heated it's transparent you dip it in there till basically the bubble stop which means you're no longer absorbing the liquid jesse grease into it and it does solidify fairly quick so here we go. Now you can see the knot that I was talking about earlier. And it's important to keep it nice and square. Now do you see the bias on that hole where it makes the knot more symmetric? This is just an um, iron worker's guide. We're just preforming the bracelet so we have a nice radius to them. And that's my number one pair of bracelets, which is actually too small. This is a number two, which I should have made it made off screen, and you saw the process. So, those are new Jessies and bracelets, Alamary Jessies. This is Fig, an Altai Saker Tearsel in his beautiful new furniture. Such a handsome boy. Thank you for joining us. Hope you liked what you saw and heard. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification. <laughs> Animal enchantment, I'm telling you.